Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let us dive into the word. Oh, Jesus, I want to thank you this morning that I'm not like those sinners out there with all their partying and gossiping, especially my neighbor who doesn't fast during Lent. I pray seven times a day and I donate to the poor. I'm such a good Christian. Now, doesn't that sound obnoxious? Well, in today's gospel, we have the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. In the parable, we have the Pharisee listing his best qualities before the Lord. And we have the tax collector humbly bowing before the Lord. Now, when we read this passage, our first reaction will probably be like, Ugh, look at this Pharisee. He thinks he's so much better than everyone else. And let's face it, we've seen people like him in real life too. But if we really think about it, he's not wrong though. He sounds like a pretty good guy, boasting aside. I mean, he fasts twice a week and gives a tenth of his fortune every week. That sounds pretty respectable to me. But Jesus regards the tax collector as justified before God. Now why? Because one went to the temple to praise God. The other went to the temple to praise himself. One asks for nothing, the other everything. Both indeed were good men, but the Pharisee believed himself to be better than everyone else. And for the tax collector, he was aware of his shortcomings and his failure before the Lord. He acknowledges that he was a sinner. He asked humbly and truthfully for forgiveness. Because none of us can say before God that we are superior to anyone else. So brothers and sisters, the big question, which one are we? Do we really do good for God? Or do we do it for ourselves, for our own self-gratification, to be able to say, I'm better than you? Should be told, brothers and sisters, let's face it, we're both. There are indeed times where we let our goodness get to our heads. But when it does, and believe me, it will, we're only human after all. Just remember that all we have to do is to come back to God, to humbly bow at His feet and say, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. There have been countless times in my life when God has personally humbled me. (laughs) And at the time, it hurt. It stinged to have my ego crushed like that. And at the time, I didn't understand why. But looking back, I understand that God wanted to humble me so that He could mold me every day into the person that He wants me to be, to be the best version of myself, to carry out His will in this world. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all those who humble themselves will be exalted. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, may we always remember to humble ourselves before you, O God. Help us to always remember to do good for you and for your kingdom, O God, not for ourselves. And for every time that we fail, help us to come back to you, O God. Help us to humble ourselves, to bow at your feet and to say, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed week, brothers and sisters. God bless.